Hi, welcome back to Buy Forever. Today we've got a new computer turned up. Well, not new, new to me. Sinclair ZX81. So this was on eBay. It was listed as untested, uh, which basically means it may or may not work, in my experience. Uh, the So there's normally four rubber sort of pads on the bottom, stop it sliding around your desk. Uh, three of them have got screws underneath, and in this case all three the screws are visible, which means this has definitely been taken apart before, but that's no surprise, it's, that's the sort of standard way they turn up. Uh, so other than that it looks in quite good condition. Uh, we won't know really what the state of it is until we uh, take the top off and have a look inside, so that's what we'll do next. So I took all but the last screw out and uh, just got one of these, uh, got this years ago, Amtec, um, sort of a mini, mini adjustable screwdriver. I think it also, you can put a battery, like a double A or a triple A battery in there and use it, it's got like a little light as well. No, I never use that. No. Okay, that's all, all the screws off. I should try and keep everything in in shot here, if possible. Let me just take the back as first. This so is first so I took the back off this. Um, it's quite a good sign. It's not really any dust or dirt in the in the bottom cover. What does this side look like, sir? I was a little bit worried about what I'd find with the edge connector. I mean, one of the reasons I got this is the other one I've got. The sort of tracks have been soldered over and just to sort of build up the amount of metal on the edge connector. But this one actually seems in really good condition. You know, there's circuit boards. Not too bad. Um, so there's, there's one more. Screw there. And then obviously just sort of try and lift that out. Just not wanting to. Oh no, that's another screw there. It's alright. Sorry, Sir Clive. I almost pulled that screw through. Uh, so usually these keyboard connectors are very delicate um, and it's almost just a standard practice to try and just get a new keyboard. So you can just carefully ease that out of there if we can. Yeah, so that's, that's come out of there. So that's the front cover free. And uh, there you go. So that's the, the guts of the ZX81. Um, just have a look what we've got. So it's a Franti TC184E. That's uh, 49th week of 1981. I have to look that up whether that's a, that's a ULA, whether that's um, one of the newer ones, I don't know. That's the ROM. That's Okay, so what we'll do now is just measure voltage coming out of the uh, 5 volt regulator there. So, look there, we've got, what have we got? Zero. That could be that this, sometimes these are prone to, uh, you know, not get a good contact. Oh, there we go. If you can see that, that's 5 volts multimeter. That's the output. Um, I know the power supply is good because it's just one I had for the other ZX81. It's, uh, it's a new one anyway. So we'll just prove that that's alright there. Yeah, getting 8.82. So it's a 9 volt input, 5 volt out, so that's good. Um, and I think what we'll do now, we'll just connect RF lead to it, see if we can get anything onto, onto the TV. Uh, the 
the manual. Uh, this this manual didn't come with this one. This was just the computer. I think I've shown this before. It's available on the internet as well. Um, just the instruction manual says it's not built for CBCT in the UK. It's no good TV that is, and. Um, I think uh, there it says operates on channel 36 UHF, uh, when it's first plugged in, proper tune to give you a picture like that. So that's what we're looking for. So actually, unload channels found none. Uh, I'm a bit worried because it's 80% uh, of the way through. So, see what we get. So, yeah, it went all the way through, didn't get anything. Uh, this could be. The issue of the ULA, if it's an early one, it might not be able to right, put the proper full back port, porch, uh, full signal for the uh, modern TVs. I think these were, these were actually originally designed to work on a, a black and white TV which had a simpler uh, TV signal. And uh, well, I've got a a composite mod that I can uh, just uh, switch in here. Oh, hang on, we almost had something then. And, uh, and uh, 30, that's almost something like a, a, a display then. It kind of went black. But, uh, anyway, I'll come back in a bit. Okay, so what I've done is just get the source scale probes up to. Basically, the connection is going into the RF modulator there, so uh, I think the uh, the ground is basically the ground, and then the other one is the uh, output of the ULA. So, if we just pan around, so this is what we're getting. Uh, just do a run stop on that. That actually doesn't look too bad, I think, as a... Uh, so... You can kind of see black and white signal. So this is this is the first part of the TV signal, and you've got this back porch, and it uh, rises up. Uh, so... And then this is the rest of the uh, frame, so if we just, just see if we can do a single sequence now. Oh, uh, so you can see these, this is basically a couple of lines I think. If, if we need, what we need to do is try and change the time base so we can get a full, what would be a sort of a full screen's worth. Does actually have a, a trigger on um, a video signal actually. So if we, it's this. Never had much luck with it before, but you know, see what we get. <laughs> and especially on these old computers, it's a bit of a mess really. And it's kind of. I sync to odd field. So that's that's triggering actually quite well on that. Even field, that's not good. All fields. All lines. Line number. Use the V zero knob to adjust the line number. Okay. It's V zero. What's this one? So <laughs> No, I've not no, I've no, actually used this before, but um, uh, so it's on PAL mode. So let's just. So I think. I should be able to just go through it. It's just. Do me a bit more. We are getting a signal anyway, so I think this just needs probably the, the composite mod or just better. If you had a black and white TV, it'd be ideal. Uh, but it is outputting some signal, so fairly, fairly happy with that. Let's just change the sync. 
It's triggering all right on some areas. So it's not the cleanest, but uh, yeah, let's try just. Well, I think we'll do. We'll leave it here for now. Um, might just try and uh, solder up the other composite mod I got, and then uh, go from there.